This video is for the topic, solving a percent mixture problem using a linear equation. Two different methods will be covered, so use the one that you best understand. Let's get to it. Here is the problem. In the lab, David has two solutions that contain alcohol and is mixing them with each other. Solution A is 51% alcohol and solution B is 23% alcohol. He uses 1400 milliliters of solution A. How many milliliters of solution B does he use if the resulting mixture has a 31% alcohol solution? Let's start by writing out the knowns and unknowns. For solution A, we know that the solution is 51% alcohol. We also know that the volume is 1400 milliliters. What do we know about solution B? We know that the solution is 23% alcohol, but we were not given the volume of solution B. That's correct. Last, for the resulting mixture of solutions A and B, we know that the percent alcohol is 31%, but we do not know the volume of the mixture. We are asked to find the volume of solution B, so we will use the variable x to represent this quantity. Our next step is to build an organizational table. Because we are mixing two solutions to create a mixture, let's label the cells in the first column as solution A, solution B, and mixture. Since we know the amount of solution A, and we define the amount of solution B as X, we can say that the amount of the mixture of the two solutions will be the sum of the amounts of solution A and B, or 1400 plus X. Now we will enter the purity in terms of alcohol into the third column and convert the percentages to decimals. We will multiply horizontally to find the amount of alcohol in solution A, B, and the mixture and enter those values into the last column. The amount of alcohol in solution A is 0 0.51 times 1400. The amount of alcohol in solution B is 0 0.23 times X. What is the amount of alcohol in the mixture? Would it be 0 0.31 times the quantity 1400 plus X? Yes, good work. Since we know the sum of the amounts of the two solutions is the same as the amount of the mixture, we can write our first equation. The equation we get is 714 plus 0.23x equals 0.31 times the quantity 1400 plus x. Distributing the 0.31 to the 1400 and x on the right hand side of the equation, we get 714 plus 0.23 times x is equal to 434 plus 0.31 times x. Subtracting 0.23 times x from both sides of the equation, we write 714 is equal to 434 plus 0.08 times x. Subtracting 434 from both sides of the equation, we write 280 is equal to 0.08 times x. Dividing both sides of the equation by 0.08, we get x is equal to 3,500 milliliters. What does this mean in terms of the word problem? This means that to make the mixture, we must add 3,500 milliliters of solution B. That's right. Let's do one more example. This time, we will use a method that does not require a table to organize the information. Two factory plants are making solar panels. Last week, plant A produced two times as many solar panels as plant B. 6% of the solar panels from plant A and 8% of the solar panels from plant B were defective. How many solar panels did plant B produce? If the two plants together produced 1,840 defective solar panels. Again, we can write out our known information. Of the total panels produced, 6% from plant A are defective. For plant B, 8% are defective. The total defective panels are 1,840. If we let x represent the number of solar panels produced by plant B, then 2x will represent the number of solar panels produced by plant A, 
since plant A produces twice the amount of plant B. We will write our general equation in terms of defective panels. This equation becomes the defective panels at plant A plus defective panels at plant B will be equal to the total defective panels of both plants A and B. To determine the amount of defective panels for each case, we can multiply the percent defective by the total number of panels. For plant A, we will write 0.06 times 2x. Notice that we converted the percentage to a decimal since we are multiplying. What will we write for plant B and the combined defective panels? For plant B, I think it would be 0.08 times x. And for the combined, we would just write 1,840, since we are already given that value. Great work! The equation is now 0.06 times 2x plus 0.08 times x equals 1,840. Multiplying 0.06 times 2x, we write 0.12 times x. Simplifying the left-hand side of the equation, we write 0.2 times x is equal to 1,840. Dividing both sides of the equation by 0.2, we write x is equal to 9,200. This means that plant B produced a total of 9,200 defective solar panels.